Hey guys, welcome back to the Laverta Project, and this is part three in the series. And we're back at Ink Floyd uh, signature mural here at Dave's place. And I'm standing in front of my Triumph Triple, and uh, there's a reason for this. So obviously, it's always a long story with me, but I'll get there. But I've had this motorcycle for about 22 years, and 10 years ago, we decided we would do a project with it and uh, turn it into a Street Fighter. It had originally been a full fed T595. So this was one of the magazines that ended up running the story. It was Rapide, it was out of Australia. And it was back in a part of my career when I was doing a lot of print journalism. You guys will probably remember print before the internet, some of you, right? When you actually read about motorcycles, not on your phone. So anyway, the guy that painted this was a guy called Greg Pettigrew. And some of you in our Charlotte area are gonna know Greg very well. He works pretty closely with Nate over at Tutopia, doing a lot of the really high-end bikes. And he painted this bike over 10 years ago and you'll just see when you look at the quality of the paint I mean it's as good today as it was 10 years ago and so we want Greg to paint the Laverda so while Nate's doing a lot of research and working on the crank and the gearbox and all the primary stuff with the Laverda we're going to get the body work and we're going to ship it out with Greg to get it painted so Nate's got an idea to change the gas cap to a more modern countersunk affair rather than the old flip up one that Laverda's came with and he's been doing a little bit of research on that. And so we decided we'd start over at Dave's. I think we're gonna go see what Dave's riding today. Perhaps Nate might join us. And um, for those that don't live in the city of Charlotte, we're pretty proud of our city. We're gonna take a ride across our beautiful city from Ink Floyd. And we're gonna find ourselves at Tutopia to meet Greg Pettigrew and hand over the bodywork. So just uh, feast your eyes on this bad boy. She's a 97 Triumph, three cylinder of course, I guess I, Got my love of three cylinders to my Laverda and still ride one as often as possible. So, welcome to part three, Laverda Project. Buddy Dave. Hey, hey. Mate, hey, Nate just pulled up. Awesome. And uh, we want to go over to the shop and uh, go meet with Greg Pettigrew. So, you ready to roll? Sweet, let's ride do it. Harbor? Yeah. No vintage bikes for you today, huh? <laughs> Not today. No, that's pretty sweet. So, <laughs> um, do you want to lead us across sure. town? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, let's go see the city of Charlotte and we'll go see Nate. Awesome. Beauty. Back at Utopia, huh? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, excited. Oh, this, yeah, yeah. So, you haven't seen. Have you seen the bodywork here? I have not. I know you've seen the frame before, but yes. anyway. Well, this is kind of like home for you. As much work as you do for these guys, right? Yes, it is. Well, guys, we got a little treat over here with the mirrors, but we'll come back to that. So, anyway, welcome back. We uh, it was a nice ride across Charlotte, and um, they picked us up on the Goodsey and came with us, and. Uh, just we wanted to see the city of Charlotte, for those who don't live here, it's pretty nice. So I went with my buddy Greg, Greg Pettigrew. I had talked about Greg a little bit back in Floyd. I showed you the paintwork that he's done on my Triumph. Well, you've also done my Triumph, for those that remember the bike I did for speed in the day. And Greg does a lot of stuff from vintage Harleys, race bikes, Talk to Jim Calander and the guys at US Desmo, he's done a bunch of their bikes and he does a lot of Nate's really high-end restoration, repair, new bike, old bike, whatever. Yes, yeah. And Greg um, obviously is gonna be painting the Laverta. So here's the tank. This is the original tailpiece, the original side panels. And what we're thinking is obviously Laverta orange with black transfers. We want a flush fit cap. Okay. So you will do the machine fabric? fabric. We, will, we will get rid of this and uh, make this flush more modern looking. Right. And uh, you and I had spoken about instead of putting decals on it, getting overlays to spray the lettering 
so we don't have that decal edge. Right. Yes. We'll we'll cut a section out here, fab another piece, and put a more modern looking style yeah, gas lid on it. Because I don't like that poppy up look. I mean, it's okay, but it's very seventies, you know. And, and then I think on the side panels, maybe you lose the original holes, and we'll just put. 1200 and we can maybe discuss whether to put mirage on it or not okay sounds good but um so really i mean it's not as i guess for you it's not a very difficult paint job other than the fact that it has to be the best one you ever did <laughs> <laughs> i understand yeah now i'm excited about the project i appreciate you yeah. allowing me to be a part of it well greg's is part of the family and um, this is a lot about what this project is check this out Camera guy's son waiting in the wings. What do you reckon, Eli? You want to say hello? Hello, Eli. Future, future motorcyclist. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Yeah, so this is just, you know, Greg's like part of the family. He's been painting all of our bikes for so long. And we're really excited to see what he does because I'm telling you, it's going to be, it's going to be the best quality we could hope for. So I'm very excited. Thank yeah. you for including me. Yeah, I'm just sure to. Uh, what to think about this. It's kind of exciting to, to know that you're going to be doing it. So, well, Thank you very much. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to go find Nate. And I, I think what I'd like him to do is tell us a little bit about the Mirage behind the spray. So this is an original 1200 Mirage. What a nice piece. And mine's a 78 and this is an 82, so it's a little bit more modernized. And this one's completely original with 10,000 miles. And Nate's got it in for some tune-up. So it kind of feels really quite special tonight that you're taking away the body works that's going to get done. And I, I had an opportunity to show them my triumph and all the great work you did on that. And now we've got a chance to look at this bike. So I'm going to go find Nate. Yeah. So, poor Greg, I think he was a bit of a deer in the headlights. He doesn't like the whole idea of the camera. But anyway, it was really nice that he came and agreed to go on camera. He prefers to be back home painting and not in the limelight. So, <laughs> I don't blame This is just amazing. So, Nate told me he had a surprise. Here it is. And your customer, Rick Lee, dropped this off. He did? Well, picking up his RGA uh, Yoda. Uh, so he's got a, he's got several of these. Uh, this is a Mirage 1200. We've got a little misfire. Um, we're gonna try to sort. Uh, put new copper gaskets on it. We've got a new collector. Uh, just trying to seal all that up, and we're gonna put it on the dyno and uh, uh, get it sorted. See what she makes. I'm just suddenly thinking here. You know, some of you watching might not be. You're totally familiar with the Laverda brand. So the Laverda project is about my Laverda, which is a 1200 Mirage, Slater Brothers Mirage. This is a 1200 Mirage, but a 1982. Right. A little bit later. So mine was an 878. So you can see in the four years, um, if you've seen a picture of mine, they modified the side panels, the tailpiece, the fairing. They moved the gear shift, actually. <laughs> um, this yeah, here is. Yeah, if you can see it moving there, and they've just put basically a shaft through here with a nice little machine piece. Keep it all legal, eagle, and, and able to be imported to the U.S. So I guess, you know, between 78 and 82, they were, I mean, things, emissions were coming, they yeah. needed to go left foot gear change. My understanding is 73, 74, it was mandated, and the, Euro the European bike manufacturers kind of especially small production ones, just kind of got away with the brake shift for a while, you know. Uh, but yeah. So basically wheels and forks are exactly the same as mine, tank, frame, carburetors, engine. They, there's a slight difference in the modification mm -hmm. to the engine. To me, to find one in such nice condition and so original with 10,000 miles. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I don't think I've seen a Mirage 1200 in America since I've been here. I mean, the uh, that I've been to and all the places. Yeah. Um, Josh, if you could for a moment bring the camera around and look in here. This yeah. is something that I find really funny. Like, <laughs> There's a couple of cool things about them. Honda clocks. Honda clocks. Yeah, or, or Nippon Dinzo. Right. If you look in there, the, you see the little ND there. Yeah. Um, and, and these are almost direct takeoff of your... Uh, like early CB, uh, 900F, yeah. uh, you know, 750F, uh, 1100F, um, with, with 
you know, obviously the RPM ranges and things like that are different. Um, but you also can see here, you know, it's early 80s because it only goes up to 85 miles an hour. <laughs> um, so that's that's the way they wanted it back then. So, well, also interesting here is these are the same switch gear as my Laverta, right. although mine were polished, and they're actually off a Suzuki. <laughs> and, and the key, yeah, like I bet you, if you look at that, that is a Suzuki key. It looks... It is a Suzuki yeah. key. They've ground off the right. Suzuki. But, I so, mean, again, in mass production, yeah, 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 you use what's out there. Yeah, um, I think it's fabulous. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. just really interesting, these little nuances of these bikes, you know? Absolutely, yeah. But this is absolutely fabulous, though, to have this one in the shop. So, yeah. maybe... Uh, we'll get a chance to take it for a ride one day. Yeah. That would be pretty. We'll see some more of uh, see some more of Rick's uh, collection. He has he's quite a few of these uh, Lavertas. So, well, guys, I guess we'll wrap it up. We want to thank you, obviously, for being in the channel. Um, I'm super excited that you know we just came tonight to get the gas tank and the bodywork to Greg, and this has showed up. And you know we took a ride around Charlie. You got to see my speed triple and. I think this whole project is about the stuff that's happening here. And you can see this Mirage arriving is just a beautiful yeah. addition to what we're doing. So thank you guys for coming with us tonight. Absolutely. Thanks for coming by. And we better go get Michael Kane because you guys need to subscribe. Oh, hello. My name is Michael Kane. As if you haven't heard that before. But when I'm working on Laverna, and I'm sitting on a mirror like this. I just keep going. And I don't blink. And I just keep going. And I don't blink. And I keep on going. And I don't blink. And I just keep going. And I don't blink. And I don't blink. Because I just keep going. And I don't blink. So please subscribe. Don't blink. Just subscribe. Alright project. Check it out.